What's up, people? As you can tell by the reflection, I'm not in Tucson anymore. But this video is going to be a little combination of, like, the last couple days that I was in Tucson. One of the nights, I was trying to get the car ready for a cruise the next day that never really happened. It rained. Or at least, I didn't go. Um, and then, I ended up, after it dried up, I went on a cruise with Shane and JJ out on their bikes. And I got a little bit of footage of that, so I'll toss that at the end of this video. So it might be a bit of a longer one. But... If you stick around to the end, as always, you're a real G. But, I'm not going to talk about where I'm at right now. Maybe you can take a few guesses, leave a few comments. I am going to drop another video, like, back-to-back -back with this one, and that one will explain where I'm at to a vague degree. Fuck's <laughs> good. I got a CV axle that the boot split on and I thought I was going to be able to use this split boot and just throw that on there, cut off the other one, throw that on and call it good. But it's definitely been too long. I've waited too long. All the grease is everywhere. And besides that, got a crap load of play both in and out and side to side on that CV axle there. So. I gotta swap that out, good thing is, I got another one sitting on the shelf, it's in much better condition. But, you know, I, the problem is I gotta swap that. I gotta clean up all of this grease that's everywhere, it's not just in here, it's also on my belt, so it's slung up all through there, which is fantastic. So I got this other CV axle, I'm gonna get that on here. I've already started, I broke the, the nut loose, nonetheless, that's one of the things on the list. So I got degreaser and all that good stuff to clean it up. Uh, I also picked up cap and rotor to warranty my stuff out because those are nice and corroded. So we're going to swap those out and also put on, put in some new plugs. Um, that should be it besides helping clean up in there with the engine degreaser and everything. Uh, the oil's squared away, that's fine. Besides that, if I have enough time, I am going to try and get this wing on, which I did get this wing i started to get it put together i put the light back in there and fed the wire through uh but besides that got to drill the holes for that i'll show you where to do that if i have enough time that's pretty much all i want to get done if the rain holds off and we get all this work done then we'll be doing a cruise tomorrow it's a lot to go wrong it's start raining on me now so i had to with great haste put this tarp up all uh, right so i got the fork out Got that off real quick. I'm gonna go through with degreaser now and try and degrease this and try not to get too wet. Still, just a hair of rain coming through and it doesn't feel good because it's super freaking cold. I'll drop these two nuts, <laughs> these nuts, the control arm down, and then I'll get under there and pop the CV axle off of the intermediate shaft in there. So, realistically, I'm about halfway done. Sort of? Not really? Oh. Is that all? I just spent like 15 minutes putting this freaking tarp up, getting soaked in the process. Whatever. Well, it's going on midnight, but I did manage to get the CV axle out now. The CV axle is about to come apart, so it's a good thing I did go ahead and swap it, uh, or at least pull it out. This is the one that's going to go in. It is a used one, uh, but it's the one that came with this car, actually. This is a uh, axle from the Deadlude originally, but back, way back when I was gonna do a welded diff, so I put the crappy axles in, but then wasn't able to get the crappy axles in the diff. I still ended up using the crappy axles for some reason, and nonetheless, now here I am putting the better axle in as we speak. But yeah, so I'm just gonna throw this on up there real quick, and then after that, I will do the cap and rotor and the plugs. It's getting pretty late, so I don't think I'm gonna do the wing tonight. It sucks, but, cause that was really the only thing that I wanted to do. Um, but you know, gotta do the maintenance first, right? The new one's in there. It's put into place and all that stuff. When I get this wheel on and get it back down on the ground, then I'll torque that nut down into place. But otherwise, this is squared away. And Got to get the wheel on and then do the cap and rotor and the spark plugs. Once that's done, I'm going to call it a night.
just snapped. Well, I've had this problem in the past. It has been a very long time since I've done this and we've had an intense amount of moisture since then. So, the shaft has corroded and the collar's still stuck on there. I gotta get that off, which shouldn't be too hard. And if there is too much trouble, I do have a spare distributor to go on, but I'm gonna try and show you guys real quick how I'm getting that. took a left that they weren't ready to make. Should be coming pat crossing these paths in just a second. I think. I don't know if I should wait. The light's about to turn green, so I'm about to carry on. Here we go. I'm sorry, I'm in a car. I'm using the GPS. It took the, the quickest way. think I'm gonna be intersecting with them but this, this is the road that leads into Gates Pass oh it helps if I put it in gear bud oh I remember my first time This is where they wanted me to wait. Right 
Everything sneaks up on you around here, man. It's like no warnings. Oh, it is packed. It is packed. Of course, these guys in their bikes, they're just going to roll up there and park wherever. I'm going to roll up there and find no spot whatsoever. Guess we'll go back this way. Man, that CV axle does not feel good. We'll start off in a second. Oh, this feels familiar. Until next time, I'm Dan, the Prelude Dude. This is the Parts Guy.